On the day Detective Goodman was murdered, this suddenly disappeared from the locker and was found in Mr. Edgeworth's car muffler. That's it. Now I remember what that piece of incriminating evidence was. When you showed me that knife, it all came back to me. Well, what is it? Quick, before you forget again. <laughs> It's like talking to a fucking goldfish. <laughs> I know, she's so cute with her big ass glasses, those big pink lenses. That's how you know this was 2000s. <laughs> this knife, it was Joe Dark's, wasn't it? That's right. We traced it back to the store he bought it at. Plus, it had his fingerprints on it, too. But no one actually witnessed him using it to murder anyone, right? It's just got blood on the tip of it and his fingerprints, so I don't understand. <laughs> That's where his luck ran out. When you take a good look at the knife, you'll see it's broken. You don't have to take that good of a look to notice it. Yeah, well, anyway. <laughs> take a guess where the broken off tip of the knife was found. That's what did him in. Where was it? <laughs> the victim, Neil Marshall, was carrying it inside his own body. It was found deep inside the stab wound. Did it match Dark's knife? You bet. Down to the last fiber. Pretty conclusive. If it's money you need, you should ask Chief Gant. It's not money, but it does concern the Chief. His office is a crime scene, right? It's where Prosecutor Neil Marshall was murdered. The Chief's out now and his office is locked, but we'd like to have a look around if that's okay. Well, I need a detective's ID card. Can unlock the door. But if I let a civilian in there, I'd be charged with breach of trust. Simply put, I'd be canned. Oh, Sorry, pal. I don't plan on getting fired because of you. Well, oh, yeah. We have to tell- Yeah, we just have one. We can just do that. <laughs> that won't work either. The data was deleted the day he died. The data was deleted the day he died. That's a lot of Ds. So, in other words, Gumshoe's our only chance of getting into that office. I wonder if there's something we could show him that would make him change his mind. I mean, or he could just go in there and look around. Uh... The picture? Or you could break in there and not lose Gumshoe his job. Yeah? We could just do that. Hasn't this man suffered enough? I know, poor Gumshoe. They're really dragging him through the mud, huh? Let's be, let's be real, Gumshoe is beyond his life shelf of having a job. You know, I love Gumshoe, I, but I think you're right. I think maybe he's just not doing, doing the best thing. <laughs> he's not doing the best work. But I feel bad they're making him like bring him coffee and shit, poor guy. Hold on, I'm gonna put my sweater on, I'm chilly. It's chilly. I'm a little chilly. A little green chilly. <laughs> Sweater activated. Sweater mode, cozy mode activated. All right. About that jar, I think I've seen it somewhere. Yeah. What do you mean? Maybe it's one of those memories people have from previous lot. <laughs> you know just kind of to reiterate everything that you guys just said maybe maybe gumshoe shouldn't be here <laughs> you you were you helped me put this together you don't remember <laughs> it's like i'm in chief's office and he's yelling at me huh That's interesting. Missing piece is gonna be in the chief's office. Yeah, we already saw that. Yep, 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 yep. What are we supposed to show him?
No, nothing? Okay. Nope, not that. What else are we supposed to show him? Neil Marshall, February 19th between 7 and 7.30. Attack from blood loss in under 10 minutes. Weapon found and wound was missing too. Alright. I think it was. I think it. I think it had something to do with Gant. I think somehow Gant. But maybe Gant killed Goodman with the vase. Colonel Mustard in the library. Was Lana trying to cover up for Gant? This is stupid. <laughs> I hate that guy. Uh, I don't know what else we can. Show him. Hey, that's it! That's the King of Prosecutors Award Mr. Edgeworth got the other day. Of course, pal, I got an award for diligence myself. I was wondering why the award is shield. Why is it broken? Oh, there's a reason. Um, I'll tell you what it is later. Uh, okay, super helpful. What, what else? This guy almost made us lose the case today. He was guarding the bloodstain on that evidence locker with his life. That's more than you can say about most officers nowadays. You're not wrong. The possibility that another murder took place prior to 5.15. I mean... What am I supposed to show him? Right? That's what she said to do? Pretty conclusive. Oh no, that- oh okay. I thought we had to show him something else. Didn't she say that? Am I taking crazy pills? <laughs> Only one number left to investigate. 420, the victim detective good must enter the other room along with someone else. An executive officer number. That's Gantt. It has to be Gantt. Hi, Mom! Long time no speak. <laughs> My mom and I were on the phone until exactly, like, three minutes before I started this stream. <laughs> I don't know what they want me to show them. No locker can be opened without a fingerprint match. No reason for the murderer to touch a locker. Doesn't need a locker the one with blood on it. <laughs> if they come to arrest me, you'll defend me, won't you? Alright. Uh, I don't know, I'll just show him everything. Maybe the photo? Did I show him the photo already? Officer Marshall was like a mentor to you? How old is Marshall? He's 33! He's only three years older than you! <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> so funny. <laughs> this guy, he was like a father to me. <laughs> When I first started out, he even gave me a small cactus. Classic Marshall. He said, Dick, she'll listen to all your troubles. Note to self, Detective Gumshoe talks to a cactus. How am I older than Gumshoe now? What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't remember if that was last stream we were talking about this, but it's very unsettling to me to realize that I'm older than Phoenix is. <laughs> Erica, I hope I'm a mentor to you, even though I'm only a few years older than you. <laughs> She, she was like a second mother to me. 
Don't, what, why are you looking at me like that? Alright, uh, maybe the picture? Did I already show him this? Yeah, okay, hands on. Alright, 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 alright. Dude, I don't know. That's not the button I wanted to hit. It's gonna bounce around. Oh, hey, okay, cool. Good. Something's happening. No one's here, not even Miss Star. Everybody's probably busy looking at what exactly went down the evidence room. It must be where the detectives are. Proved in court today that on the day of the crime, no one was murdered in the evidence room at 515. Yeah, I thought we were finally making some headway in our case, but instead it looks like we just ended up making Lana look even more guilty. I don't know, have you ever considered that maybe your sister is guilty? <laughs> Edgeworth, where are you? He's writing something. Yeah, she might just be guilty, sis. Sorry. <laughs> what are you doing here? Sure was quick to throw that paper on the floor. Tough day in court, huh? <laughs> because of me, personally. I've had to live the past two years with rumors flying around. What's another allegation to me? Cheer up, Mr. Edgeworth. I'm rooting for you. <laughs> I know I'm literally on the defense and you're on the prosecution, but I'm rooting for you. Because <laughs> I think you're a hunk. Is that what she called him? And she call him a hunk? <laughs> Always trying to hide his real feelings. So, what do you want? Unlike some people, I don't have all day. Okay, well. Somebody's cranky. There's no excuse for what I've done. Two years ago, I used false evidence to obtain a guilty verdict. That's what it all breaks down to, and nothing I do can erase that fact. But you didn't know! I mean, that evidence was falsified. The police department and the prosecutor's office share a bond of trust. That bond is broken, we stand to lose everything. The police department's error is my error, and my responsibility as the prosecutor in charge. Okay, but by the same token, if that's about a bond of trust, then they broke that bond because they lied to you. Hello? <laughs> The fact remains that the same no matter what excuses I might have. Mr. Edgeworth. I take pride in my work. That's why I literally left my King of Prosecutors trophy just laying haphazardly upon my couch. So tell me why. Tell me why. Why has it all come to this? Even Edgeworth can't keep this kind of emotion bottled up. Poor guy. Are you up for the trial tomorrow? First last year's trial, and now this one. It seems all you do is worry about me. Oh my god. <laughs> the homoeroticism. When is it gonna happen? When are they just gonna let these two men be in love? I know, the little smirk. <laughs> to be honest, you're getting on my nerves. Mr. Edgeworth, you can't just walk out on the trial. Tomorrow's the last day. It's too late to change prosecutors. I'll bet that's why my superiors, what my superiors are banking on. I never thought that case would come back to haunt me like this. The list of evidence, it seems too short. Most lists run twice as long. It's only half as long as most lists. That is odd. After Neil Marshall was murdered, I became prosecutor for that case. May not have been part of the investigation, but I knew what I had to do. Use the evidence I was given to prove the suspect guilty. Really the only thing in my mind that time. Why did I, why did my nose get stuffy? Um, see, we just saw a picture taken around that time. Pictures, something seems strange about it. Could you tell us again about what happened that day? The detective the day Detective Goodman was murdered. You were participating in a ceremony over at the station, right? I've never cared for ceremonies, but I had to attend that one. Cause you were awarded this? Those receiving awards can't exactly skip out on the ceremony. Finished up at the office in the morning, then drove over to the police department. Finished up at the office? Yep, just odds and ends, clerical stuff. Vague. I didn't plan on returning to the office that day. That is until I was asked to take something back. Okay. Okay, alright, alright, alright. See, you know, alright. Gant killed Goodman, took that weird screwdriver and told Edgeworth to drive it back so that he could frame Edgeworth or Lana. I'm missing the last couple pieces there, but... Gant's the one who gave him the screwdriver to bring back to his office. And that was where Lana was, and that's where the whole murder was staged. So... So... Oh yeah, Chief Gant asked you to hold on to that, didn't he? Yep. It was a piece of evidence in a case that was closed half a year ago. He asked me to bring it back to the prosecutor's office. So you came back here to the prosecutor's office because the chief asked you to. That's right. 
Alright. How about this? This picture was hanging on the wall in Chief Gant's office. Prosecutor Neil Marshall, he had just started making a name for himself. Looks like this was taken when he was when he received the King of Prosecutors trophy. Oh, the vase! That's the vase! Motherfucker, we have so much evidence right now. That's the vase! Oh my god. Speaking of that, there's something that bothers me. The trophy Mr. Marshall is holding. It's a little different than yours. It's got like an extra piece on it. That was what the official prosecutor's trophy looked like until two years ago. There's a story behind its design. Would you mind telling it to us? It's simple, really. Contradiction. That's what the award's based on. What? <laughs> what do you... What do you mean? This award originates from an ancient Chinese tale. In Chinese, the word contradiction is written with two characters. The first means halberd, and the second means shield. Have you heard this story? Yeah, could you explain, like, a little more? Could I get... A little bit of detail. I mean, I'm very smart and totally understand what's going on 100%. It's like, I definitely understand what you're saying because I'm definitely as smart as you for sure. But, <laughs> but could you just like tell me a little bit more? Just for like, just for fun. <laughs> oh, sure. Everyone knows that. Why don't you tell Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. That's exactly what he said. <laughs> very well. <laughs> Long ago in the kingdom of Chu there was an arms merchant. One day he presented the king with two items. First was a halberd he claimed he could slice through any shield of or armor. The second was a shield he claimed could withstand any weapon. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Why is he being so intense? Edgeworth's in the middle of a story. Nick must suck to be friends with. Imagine getting objected to in the middle of your own story. <laughs> yeah, all of a sudden Nick is good at his job. Okay. Very perceptive, but then again, you've heard this story before, right? <laughs> yeah, where's Mia? <laughs> anyway, as you mentioned, the very descriptions of these items discredit them both. When the king pointed this out, the merchant was left speechless, and thus the Chinese word for contradiction was born. Do you think that's true? <laughs> you think that's real? Oh, I see. So the chip shield and broken knife symbolize... Precisely so. They symbolize the merchant's items. Do you think that has something to do with the broken knife that we found that they claimed was the murder weapon? Wow, what a dumbass merchant. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. The ancient tale ends with the merchant at a loss for words, but it's in our nature to pursue matters to their conclusion, even if it results in something as ugly as this. Prob got killed for that, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> the king was probably like, let me see that sword real quick. <laughs> wow, thanks, Mr. Edgeworth. I learned something new today. That's funny. If that's so, then why were you only given a shield? You'll have to ask Chief Gant. Two years ago, he had the halberd part of the award abolished. Hmm. Okay. No, okay. No, okay. I'm just testing the water. Stop yelling at me. Is that really it? Oh, fuck. <laughs> All right, hold on, I gotta ask him again. <laughs> I thought he started it out the same way. I thought it was the same sassy. Can't seriously expect me to just sit down. Oh, it is the same thing. It is, oh, okay, he did start out saying the same thing. Isn't this related to the case, remember? You said so yourself, so I did. Chief Gant gave this to you that day, didn't he? He asked you to bring it here from the police department. The chief is a very competent man. 
but sometimes he does things that don't make any sense. Edgy, I know you said you're busy or whatever, but let me show you every single item in my pockets right now. Yeah. <laughs> and here's a Canadian penny I found on the floor. Here's a button from one of my shirts. I can't remember what shirt it was. Here's some lint. <laughs> At least it's better than being incompetent and doing things that don't make sense. A certain detective comes to mind. Okay. Are y'all ragging on my buddy Gumshoe? Rude. Canadian penny objection. Are there not pennies? Do you not have a Canadian penny, Sarah? <laughs> Is that not a thing? <laughs> Nickel, quarter, dime. What do you have? <laughs> do you have any coins? <laughs> they don't use pennies anymore. Oh. Oh, but they used to? Interesting. I think that's all I'm gonna bug Edgeworth with right now. I don't think I'll to say to this guy. Later. Oh, Angel? Yeah, Lunk Lady! Would either of you care for a quarter pound of roast beef? You certainly are the curious sort, aren't you? Kind of like the first person who sucked a cow's nipple to discover milk, ma'am! Still, I know, are we just gonna gloss over that? No one's gonna, no one's gonna say anything to her? Okay. That's fine. No, that's fine. That was a totally normal fucking thing to drop in the middle of a conversation. People definitely talk like that. That's normal. Everyone in this trial was involved in the SL9 incident. Not only that, but the murder occurred on the very day the evidence from that case was due for transferal. This can't all be contributed to mere coincidence. Aren't you forgetting something? You know, that little scene I happened to witness? Instant Lana stabbed Detective Goodman with a knife. Everyone in this trial is on cocaine. <laughs> hey, hey, stop it. Stop licking the blanket. Quit it. You wanna come sit over here? Come here. Rocky has joined the chat. Rocky, say hi. <laughs> Could you hear him breathing into the microphone? He huffed. <laughs> no matter how much of the past you dig up, it won't change what I saw. Yeah, but it could explain it. Oh, what's the matter? Well, he's like, let me go back to sleep. Kiss that little head. Guess what, bud? Mwah. Little head kiss. Little head kiss. Yeah. Yeah. Grandma and, and Annie Sarah say hi. Oh. Oh, stinky boy. He needs a bath. <laughs> Roast beef is meant to be savored when eaten. Okay. What are we talking about right now? It all dates back to two years ago. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I follow yet. Joe Dark, that's a name I'll not soon forget. Oh, what's the matter? You wanna lay down? Go ahead, it's okay. <laughs> he always looks so stressed, Rocky. I'm never sure if, like, I'm like, are you okay? Am I projecting human emotions onto you? <laughs> you all right? Come here. Did I pull your little whiskers? Hold on. Yep. Shit in your eyes. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Done grooming my dog. This lady has gray eyes. Why don't I have gray eyes? Dude, I know. Why do we, why do we have to have like normal color? I, I want purple eyes more than anything, I think. <laughs> if I got colored contacts, I would get two kinds of colored contacts. If I could, three. Purple, pink, and then pink hearts. Purple hearts even. <laughs> We trailed him for half a year. Oh, the pressure. <laughs> Still, I don't think I was ever more alive than I was then. Oh, I got the hiccups. <laughs> Those days were steamier than a bowl of hot gravy. Okay. Got some weird, some weird similes, ma'am. Poor old Jake Marshall, though. He must have been going through hell. You mean because of his brother's death? They were close, those two. After Neil died, something took over Jake. He became obsessed. Seeing Jake like that made her all the more desperate. Lana Sky. The best of the best were put on that SL9 case. Of course, they were led by that legendary duo. Lana and Chief Gant. That legendary pair was the reason we were able to keep up our investigation. That's why we were so shocked over how it turned out. Don't get me wrong, Joe Dark got what he deserved. Still, it was obvious the evidence produced in court was being manipulated. Items our team never found would suddenly appear while other items were kept secret. But you don't have proof anything illegal was done. I'm proof enough of what happened. 
After that case, all of us, save Goodman, were relieved of our duties, most without even so much as an explanation. Then Lana Sky was transferred to the prosecutor's office and became chief prosecutor. Nothing's quite as simple as it appears. Lana Sky was merely being used as a pawn. I'll change the side that my bangs are on to prove it. I'll change my part under my hat to prove it with the flip of a hair. <laughs> Lana Sky was merely being used as a pawn. It's my take on the matter. Damon Gant and Lana Sky. Gant led the investigation with Lana, second in command. They were the best. Damon Gant's magnetism is pr in particular was almost unreal. By that, I mean his ability to attract evidence. He produced the most incredible evidence in the cases he handled. Gray eyes are only reserved for lunch ladies. <laughs> it's a special, it's like a rite of passage. Once you pass your lunch lady bar exam, then you get your gray eyes. <laughs> she doesn't deserve them. Oh yes, there were rumors about him even back then. No one dared confront him though. Back then, everybody looked up to Lana. All the detectives wanted to be like her. Oh yes, myself included. I was a fool, really. She hated anything crooked and always watched out for the other detectives. That's why she was so concerned for Jake. When Jake's brother was murdered, she felt as if she had lost her own brother. If it wasn't for her, I don't think Jake would have ever recovered from his shock. That's what makes it all the more infuriating. That's why I'll never be able to forgive her. Why did she have to turn so cold after that? Huh. I'm... I'm very interested to see where this turns out because I'm getting I'm getting I'm getting mixed responses, mixed emotions from everyone here. Lana transferred to the prosecutor's office two years ago, didn't she? Yes, thanks to Chief Gant's powerful influence. That's right, having solved the SL9 case, his position as chief was secured. There was only one thing left for him to control, and then no one could stand in his way. The prosecutor's office. You mean that's why Lana was transferred? If he could control the chief prosecutor, he could control the prosecutor's office. Oh, it's all just a fucking power. M that must have been his goal all along. I don't know, but one thing's for sure. Ever since that case ended, she's never been the same. It's only logical to conclude there must have been a reason for her change. Finally getting close to the bottom of this ugly mess. Thank you, Miss Star. You listen to me, rookie. It takes more than just ingredients to create fine cuisine. Hope you can turn out to be a better chef than I've been. Who's it gonna be? Gumshoe! Gotta make 150 copies of these files. Brew and coffee, copy and files. I'm turning into a regular DJ. What does that mean? <laughs> I'm not mistaken, I think he means desk jockey. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I gotta admire your persistency, but my answer's still no. I'm not letting you in the chief's office, period. It'd be my neck on the line. He is like hanging on by a thread. Um... Same thing he said before. It's in this picture, damn it! <laughs> Dude, I don't know, what are we supposed to do? Attorneys and prosecutors have no sh business showing evidence outside court. It's a taboo. It's actually with the okay. She's a big pain in the ass, isn't she? I mean, we're literally your defense attorney, so I feel like it's like at least a little bit appropriate for us to share some evidence with you, but that's fine. Alright, I think that there's literally no- well, I'll check the knife. Other than that, I think there's literally no use to talk to her. Yeah, okay. Lana, you have been the least helpful person.